There's a new model shaking up the open source AI world, and it might be the strongest one yet. It's called Minimax M2, created by the Chinese startup Minimax. People are calling it the new king of open source AI models, not because it's the biggest, but because of how smart and efficient it is, especially in agentic tool use. That means it can plan, act, and use other tools on its own, like browsing the web, running code, or operating apps, with very little human input. It's the kind of skill future humanoid robots will rely on. The biggest deal here is that Minimax M2 is completely open source under the MIT license. Anyone can download it, retrain it, modify it, or use it for commercial purposes with no restrictions. It's available on Hugging Face, GitHub, and ModelScope, and even supports OpenAI and Anthropic API formats. So if a company already uses GPT or Claude, they can switch easily. According to Artificial Analysis, the group that benchmarks AI systems, Minimax M2 now ranks number one among all open models worldwide for reasoning, coding, and task execution. On Tau Squared Bench, it scored 77.2, on Browse Comp 44.0, and on Fin Search Comp Global 65.5. These scores put it right next to GPT-5 and Claude Sonnet 4.5, models that cost millions to train and are closed source. The secret is in its mixture of experts design. It has 230 billion parameters, but only 10 billion are active during inference. That makes it powerful, but efficient. It can deliver frontier level performance while running on just four NVIDIA H100 GPUs, which is realistic even for mid-sized companies. Artificial analysis noted that Minimax M2 isn't just strong on paper, it's consistent across real-world tasks like coding, automation, and multi-step reasoning. It's built for workflows where the AI plans, executes, and verifies complex steps, which is perfect for enterprise automation and developer tools. LLM engineer Pierre Carl Longley summed it up best when he said, Minimax is mastering the tech end to end to get actual agentic automation. And he's right. Minimax isn't trying to build the biggest model. It's trying to build the smartest usable one. Performance wise, the results are impressive. On a sweet bench verified, it scored 69.4. GPT-5 got 74.9. On Artifacts Bench, 66.8, higher than Claude, 4.5, and DeepSeek V3.2. On Gaia, text only, it hit 75.7, and across agentic tasks like Browse Comp, it easily outperformed every open model available. In Artificial Analysis's Intelligence Index version 3.0, it earned 61 points, making it the top open weight model globally, just behind GPT-5 and Grok 4. The report highlighted its balanced intelligence, not just raw reasoning, but applied intelligence across real tasks. Minimax designed the M2 for developers from the ground up. It can handle multi-file code edits, automated testing and debugging, keeping its reasoning visible through think tags. Those tags show its step-by-step -step logic, which helps developers understand how the AI thinks instead of guessing what happens behind the scenes. It's also great at agentic planning, meaning it can combine tools like browsers, terminals, and APIs in one flow while maintaining logical consistency. That makes it perfect for building AI agents, coding assistants, and even humanoid control systems that need to reason and act continuously. Minimax even published a tool calling guide on Hugging Face showing how to connect external apps through XML style tool calls you can literally use it as the reasoning brain for larger systems. And it's cheap, shockingly cheap. The API costs 30 cents per million input tokens and $1.20 per million output tokens. GPT-5 costs $1.25 and $10 for the same thing. Claude Sonnet 4.5 costs $3 per million input tokens and $15 per million output tokens. Minimax offers similar performance for under 10% of the price. Artificial analysis lists its average blended cost at 53 cents per million tokens, making it one of the most cost efficient AIs out there. The latency to the first token is just 1.16 seconds and it generates around 82 tokens per second. It's not the fastest model, but its accuracy and reasoning more than make up for it. The context window is 200,000 tokens, plenty for large projects or detailed prompts, you can use it via Minimax Agent, a chat interface, or the Minimax API, both free for now. If you want to host it yourself, 
you can download the model weights from Hugging Face and run it using VLLM or SGLang. Both support its special reasoning structure. Minimax recommends temperature 1.0, top P0.95, top K40, and warns not to remove the think sections when passing chat history. That's where the logic continuity lives. Minimax story is just as impressive as the model itself. The company first got attention in 2024 for its AI video generator, Video01, which could produce lifelike cinematic clips in seconds. One of those clips, a Star Wars-style duel, went viral online and made Minimax a serious player in generative tech. Then in 2025, they launched the Minimax 01 series with context windows up to 4 million tokens, which was double Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro and far beyond GPT-40. Later, they released Minimax M1, which focused on reasoning and efficiency. That model introduced a reinforcement learning method called CISPO, and according to reports, it was trained for just $534,700, about one-tenth of what DeepSeek spent on its R1 model. Now, Minimax M2 is the result of all that progress, more stable, smarter, and optimized for real-world use. Backed by Alibaba and Tencent, Minimax has quickly gone from a startup to one of China's biggest AI powerhouses. In benchmarking data, M2 stands shoulder to shoulder with GPT-5 and Claude Sana 4.5 across tasks like AIME 25, MMLU Pro, GPQA Diamond, Live Code Bench, and IF Bench. It's often just a few points behind, despite being open source and far cheaper to operate. That's exactly what enterprises want today. Transparent, customizable, affordable AI. Not just the smartest system, but one they can host themselves without compliance headaches or massive licensing fees. Minimax M2 checks every box. To see how it performs in the real world, a YouTuber named Bijan Bowen tested it in depth, and the results were surprisingly good. After a few connection issues, the model ran smoothly through the API and open router. He described it as fast, logical, and creative. When he asked it to simulate an operating system, it actually produced a working desktop-style interface. When he asked for websites, it built working HTML pages with nice layouts, color gradients, and hover effects. It even refused shady prompts like a fake Bitcoin duplicator, showing it has balanced safeguards. Then came the fun part, coding tests. The model generated a 3D racing game with car physics, camera angles, and even suspension movement when turning. He said it was the best result he's ever gotten in that test, better than anything from other open models. He also tested creative tasks. He asked for a PC repair website featuring an owner who refuses to fix Macs. The model delivered a full site with text, design, and even a funny backstory explaining why. Buttons worked, contact forms were included, it was all there. For his final test, he asked for a drag and drop PC Builder Simulator. The result wasn't perfect, it didn't fully render, but it showed strong logic and structure for such a complex project. In the end, he called Minimax M2 the best open source model he's tested so far, especially for coding and creative agent tasks. For those following humanoid robotics, this kind of advancement matters. Models like M2 can run reasoning cycles like C-Plan, Act, Verify in real time, which is exactly what humanoids need to operate independently. And because it only activates 10 billion parameters at once, those cycles can happen fast without massive hardware. A real step toward giving humanoid robots an open, affordable reasoning engine that's actually transparent and efficient. Minimax M2 shows that open source AI isn't just catching up, it's ready to compete with the world's best. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.